And now, number 41. I'll never forget 1987. Chuck Knoll put Rod Woodson on the field. He was like a third string defensive back. Who knew who Rod Woodson was? So they brought him on the field, and then I think I promptly threw him an interception. <laughs> and that was his first interception. Picked up by Woodson. He's got green carpet. Rod Woodson goes all the way. Who knew at that moment that that kid was going to turn out to be one of the greatest all time players? Defensive back is like a closer in baseball. You have to be fearless. And Rod had that personality where he was going to go for it. Yoy and double Yoy, what another big play by Rod Woodson. I could easily create an argument for him being the greatest defensive back of all time. Rod became a great player at three different positions, cornerback, strong safety, and free safety. I don't think people realize just how great he was, but I think any quarterback that you talk to that played against him, they will all tell you that he's one of the great players of all time. During his 17-year career, Rod Woodson had 71 interceptions, the third most in NFL history and became the all-time leader in interception return yardage and interceptions returned for touchdowns. Within the framework of the game, the pick six is an important thing. Your mindset as a defensive back, when you get the ball in your hands, you try to take it back to the house. If you can do that, it makes yourself very valuable to the defense. He made so many great plays, you know, so, so many great punt returns. And I think a lot of people respected him because he was the total football player. Woodson was so impressive after only seven seasons that in 1994, he became the youngest player elected to the NFL's 75th anniversary team. You know, there are a lot of great cover corners, you know, who we're talking about, who didn't like to tackle. But Rod never shied away from that. He made tackles, interceptions, and was probably as athletic as any player who has ever played in the defensive backfield. And few defensive backs were tougher. In 1995, Woodson became the first player in history to suffer a catastrophic knee injury and returned to play in the Super Bowl that same season. We could talk about the great Gale Sayers well, what he would have been if his knees don't blow out. Rod Woodson, you don't have to say what he would have been. We see what he turned out to be. Then to go to the Ravens and become, you know, a part of that great defense. Hollis rolling out, looking upfield, throws, it's picked off. Ravens intercepted, Woodson, touchdown! Out of Benny Rod, we needed that. And then to go to the Raiders and become a part of that defense. Intercepted! Three different teams, you know, were elevated because he was on the team. In my era, I would have to say he would be the best defensive back total that I've ever played against. And I would argue that maybe the greatest defensive back that ever played. 